After two days of trying, the lawyers in the Karen Reed murder trial just outside of Boston, they got themselves 11 of the 16 jurors that they need. And if those people have not been following this case, they have no idea what they're in for. Karen Reed is the financial analyst and the college professor who's accused of murdering her boyfriend, John O'Keefe, a longtime Boston police officer. Happened back in January of 2022. And ever since then, the investigators have been building their case against her. But the doubters have been getting louder and louder. The investigators say that she backed over her boyfriend after a drunken argument and then left him to die in a snowbank outside of a house party. But Reed's defenders say the evidence does not add up. They say the victim's injuries aren't even the kind you get from vehicle impact, and they claim the investigators planted evidence at the scene, evidence like fragments of a broken taillight from Reed's SUV. None of those defenders is more convinced than that of my next guest. Sean McDonough is a retired DEA supervisory special agent who's investigated this case on his own pretty much full time for a year now. He says he can prove that Karen Reed's taillight was completely intact after the alleged hit and run happened. Take a look at this video from the doorbell cam. It was taken at 5.03 a.m. And 5.03 a.m. is hours after Reed and O'Keefe parted ways. And you can see right there in the circle that Reed's taillight is right where it's supposed to be on her Lexus SUV. I want to welcome to the program Sean McDonough. Sean, that, that video is sort of jaw-dropping. It's kind of like the Perry Mason moment, and I wonder if the prosecutors have it, and if they do, how do they explain it? Actually, I'm, first of all, I'm so happy to be here, and thank you. Thank you for covering this. I'm so happy you led with the first picture. The first picture is what the prosecution wants the jurors to believe. Look, that, that taillight looked like at 12.32 a.m. after John was allegedly hit by Karen Reed. In this video, which is four and a half hours after Karen uh, allegedly hit John, that, see that, that light right there has absolutely no wires, no LEDs. All the red is completely gone, which means no red would be reflective, right? There would be nothing, there would be nothing illuminating. At 5.03 to 5.08, you see her back in. She cracks the, the uh, backup light onto John O'Keefe's, Officer John O'Keefe's traverse, which is behind there. See those tire tracks? She goes in at an mm -hmm. angle, which means she definitely made contact with the, that, that side light that comes out five inches. We, we documented this. And see right there? That, that uh, tire on John's car moves forward. It didn't go backwards. So the angle directs the motion of the vehicle when it got struck. So when that, as that video continues on, if you keep going with that video, a little bit more, it's completely intact. And the, this is how it all came about. The lead detective, Michael Proctor for the Mass State Police, this is how I found it. In his affidavit, he said, the taillight, the right rear taillight, right side, was shattered and a large piece missing. And I said, wait a minute. The two witnesses told him that there was a crack. And we analyzed this back and forth, and we let the video play all the way through. I went to Lexus dealerships. They told me not only do they have, it's a polycarbonate plastic, one of the hardest plastics you can have. The law of physics, but there you go, right there. See all that red? In the, in the uh -huh. final picture where the prosecutor is saying, this is how it en ends up, it's no way. So polycarbonate plastic, very hard. 6,500 pounds going into a 220 pound male uh, human will topple him over. It will not crack up the, the taillight in 37 plus pieces. Absolutely impossible. Mistake number one, they did not know this video existed when they did this crime scene later in the night. This video came about two days later. So 
When they so, made the so again, decision- just listen, I've got only 30 seconds left, but I've got to, I've got okay. to ask you, you've been in this business a long time. How are the prosecutors going to explain this away? Because I guarantee you what you have, defense attorneys will use. Oh, they have it all. They have that and more. I don't know how they intend to convince a jury at 12 that that car hit John O'Keefe. There is no way. Wow. Okay, so listen, we're only at the, the, the tip of the iceberg on this case. I'm going to have you back, Sean McDonough, because this case has gripped me, and we're only at jury selection. So I look forward to our next time together. Thank you for this, and thanks for sharing that, um, all that video with us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.